What's up guys? Howdy. Thanks for coming to my channel. Appreciate it. I'm going to be doing another shave today with Luthor. Lothor. Luthor. How do you actually pronounce this? Lani. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that. And for the splash, we're going to be using the matching splash. Let's get into it. So, uh, Lu, U, Thor, it's um, a lot of Americans and other people around the world say Lothor, but it's actually is uh, the O that you see here. Uh, it's U, it's Danish. Uh, and I believe Norwegian language has it as well, but it's Danish and it's pronounced U. Here's a uh, quick video on how to actually say it. U is a rounded vowel. And that means that the shape of the mouth is rounded. Ø. When pronouncing ø in Danish, it can either be a short ø, a long ø, or have a glottal stop. So that's the actual pronunciation, and I'll try my best to articulate it properly. Luthor was started in May of 2021 by Johnny Gill, and it's an independent male-led British brand. Uh, for all men, regardless of class or creed. And where he came up with the name for the company is, um, used to live in Denmark after attending uh, university there. And Luthor was him taking creative license on the old English and Norse word for lather. And Lani actually comes from British slang word for Donny which uh, basically means the man's man. Uh, think uh, James Bond, you know, the, uh, the alpha male. And so it's kind of a play on multiple words there. Mmm, smells amazing. It's made with Indian sandalwood as opposed to Australian sandalwood. A lot of people, a lot of perfumers, perfume houses use Australian sandalwood, which is... Uh, Centalum spicatum versus the Indian sandalwood, which is Centalum album. That's just the botanical difference, the scientific names. And the difference in them is that Indian sandalwood base is a lot sweet, sweeter, creamier. Uh, it's kind of got a, a lime uh, top note to it. And it's pale yellow and transparent in color, a little bit more so than the Australian counterpart. What's uh, another thing too that uh, Johnny said is that, uh, I, just, I talked to him uh, before I shot this video because I wanted to make sure everything was super accurate. And uh, they don't use any milk or hyaluronic acid uh, because it's gimmicky essentially, that's, that's what he says. And uh, they basically, done the science. They, they actually, uh, Johnny went to a bunch of chemists and scientists and asked them to uh, come up with the best, uh, worked with them to come up with the best formula possible to uh, get the best ingredients so that you don't have to, there was no guesswork. Uh, there was no formulation guesswork. So it was all done by science and um, according to Johnny, they put the best ingredients they possibly could in. One of the ingredients that he actually has a blog post on, written on his blog, is um, about an ingredient called dimethrone, I believe is how you say it. Uh, and dimethrone is a type of silicone base. It's an emollient with occlusive properties. And that just means that it soothes the skin, it hydrates the skin, and it creates an effective barrier to uh, protect the skin. And we'll be mixing that up today in the finest grooming, AKA gents barbershop and spa bowl. That's about how much we'll be using, so not too much. And to scoop, I use the Spartan blacksmith scooper. I believe you guys saw this. I talked about it in another video. And for the razor, we are going with the Rockwell 6C with a brand new Permashart blade. And that's gonna be on plate four. For the brush, 
and I'll, I'll show this in greater detail after. This is the uh, first line shave and turnings by Tansy collaboration brush, number two, for their release on life and death, um, which I'll also be doing a review on that. I just want a little bit more time with it to make sure my um, make sure I hit all the points that I want to hit. So let's go ahead and build this lather and get to shaving. So one thing that I thought was really cool about Luthor uh, is that they donate 5% of all the proceeds on three of their signature soaps. Uh, and that goes to Calm, which is the campaign against living miserably to help um, support men's health and well-being. And that's really good. I, I love when artisans take it upon themselves to generate uh, or to donate Profit, generated profits uh, to charity. And something like this uh, in terms of men's mental health and well-being is a great charity. That's kind of what um, wet shaving has done for me too. It's also really given me a, a place to enjoy uh, what otherwise really amounts to a, a crappy chore that no one really wants to do shaving, but it makes it fun. It makes it intriguing. I love all the different scents. I love all of the different fragrances um, for the, and that's another thing too, um, fragrance and scents. Um, here's what fragrance means. And here's what scent means. And so I just use those terms interchangeably, but the scent notes in this really are amazing very floral a punch in the face as far as sandalwood goes it's not the typical sandalwood like to me the typical sandalwood just to kind of show you um some examples here this viking revolution aftershave balm this is like right now my favorite sandalwood scent fragrance um I really use fragrance for EDTs, EDPs, colognes, things like that, but you can also say it for stuff like this. Um, that to me is the epitome of really good smelling sandalwood. And then you've got the Barrister and Man sandalwood, which is a very woody type of sandalwood. Yeah, very, very woody, very earthy, um, not very floral or fruity. Then you've got something like this. This is the uh, Bull and Bell series from Murphy and McNeil. This is the Amber Sandalwood. And this is a really uh, soapy kind of sandalwood. Not, not, very, um, not very exotic, not very floral, not too woody either. Uh, and then you have the, uh, oh, I read the wrong one. Here it is. Then you have the Murphy and McNeil Infinitus line. This is the Kodiak base, and this is their uh, sandalwood vanilla. And this, this is getting there. Uh, it can definitely smell the vanilla, um, but this is a little bit more of a traditional sandalwood as well. And then my second favorite sandalwood, because right now the uh, Looney is my current favorite sandalwood, but my second favorite sandalwood that's growing on me big time is actually a mix, and that is PAA's Supreme Sandal Nuts. And this is a this is a mix of two different uh, PAA soaps. That is really, really nice. I might, I might do a video on this because um, it is a hidden item, but I don't know if Doug wants to really promote hidden items. Very, very floral, very, very pungent, and very, very addictive. Uh, if I had to compare it to anything, I would say it's, it smells kind of like daffodils or dandelions. It's one of those types of, of flowers, but it smells really, really good. All right, enough yapping. Let's get to shaving. I also want to bring this, I also just want to read to you the, what it says about Lani, uh, Looney. Looney is a seductive and complex sandalwood. We have taken the most beautiful natural sandalwood known as Indian gold. 
We created an accord around it to boost and bolster the beautiful natural qualities sandalwood offers. Sandalwood is a staple in the male grooming space and for good reason. Notes, sandalwood with creamy, musky, peppery, spicy, and resinous facets. So I agree with all of that. There, there is some def definite musky notes, a uh, little bit spicy, a little bit peppery, definitely creamy, definitely floral. Sorry, just adjusting the uh, volume there. Uh, definitely creamy, definitely floral. I, I really like it. I think it's, uh, I think it's a wonderful scent. So enough yapping. Let's go ahead and get mixing and uh, let's get lathering. So for today, I'm, I am again, once again, going to be using the Cremo face scrub. It is just an exfoliating scrub. It is not a pre-shave. So that'll just open the pores and get the skin ready for the shave. Let's go. Pass number one. Now, one thing that I think is really cool about Johnny and the company. Is that, like I said, they, uh, for I believe it's uh, Calm, Tears, and Dave. Those are their like signature soaps. They, once again, donate 5% to a charity called Calm, Campaign Against Living Miserably. And that's just to help with uh, men's health and well-being. Which of course is always good to see. Always great to see artisans supporting charities and uh, giving back to the community. And the thing I love about this soap, too, is that once you go over an area, uh, primary slickness is great. That means when you first lather up, like, for example, here's a primary slickness stroke. Okay, right, so I just went over that area that was just lathered. Now, residual slickness would be... If I were to buff the area right now, can I do it? Yes. The residual slickness on this is actually um, rather interesting. It leaves the it leaves like a sheen, like a a, a film across the skin to to really hydrate and soothe. All right. 
Pass number one is done. Let's go for pass number two. I also like to judge residual slick, slickness like this uh, once you kind of rinse off the face after doing the first pass because I like to see what kind of slickness is left on the face after you've had uh, a lot of water added to it. And this is really slick. First line shave brush. I will show a closer up of this and I am going to do a uh, review on the first line shave life and death set. But for now this brush is pretty good. I have a bunch of badgers and boars. I'm a particular boar fan. I like boar hair a lot. I just like the stiffness of it and how it feels against the skin versus synthetic or badger. All right, pass two coming up. Going across the neck is kind of hard. Um, you just want to flatten out the skin as much as possible. Sure, you can hear that feedback. And when you lather too, I'm noticing that the scent really, um, really starts to come alive when it's sitting on your face for a little while. All right. Pass two done. One last pass against the grain, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Man, this slickness is off the chain. Really, really nice. Really nice. I mean, I could shave right now without actually applying any lather, but we're not going to do that. All right.
Still tons of lather. Haven't added any extra water or anything, so this is just what was on my face and on the knot. Take a look at this. Look at that. Nice yogurty consistency. Whoa. Looks really good too. You don't need a lot of water. Just a little bit to make sure that the knot isn't completely dry. And it can really handle the water very, very well too. No issues. Last pass is gonna be against the grain. Just trying to keep my skin nice and tight. You don't want it too tight. Uh, like sometimes I'll pull the skin to tighten a little bit, but just be careful in doing that because if you pull the skin too tight and you go over a certain area too many times, you're going to cut the hair beneath the skin and then you're going to get ingrown hairs, which nobody wants. Hope everybody's well. Thanks again for stopping by. I appreciate it. Bunch of nice comments on my last videos and uh, on my Instagram posts. I thank you, all of you, for your nice comments. Appreciate it. It's much appreciated. Of course. Wouldn't be a Sully video unless I had some bleeding going on, right? It's funny too, before I started shooting these videos, I never would get nicks or cuts. It wasn't only until I started shooting the videos that I would get little nicks and cuts. Just gonna re relather here real quick.
All right, third pass is done. Just going to uh, rinse off for the last time, do a couple pickups, and then we're all set. We're going to utilize the PAA dry docks, uh, sorry, PAA alum block with dry dock system and no slip grip. Man, that's a mouthful. No real stinging, so that's good. Whoops. The no slip grip slipped off. So, splash time. What's really nice about the, uh, there we go, the Looney splash. My band aid's coming off. Uh, about the Looney, Looney Splash is you really don't need a bomb for this because it's got some something in it. All the ingredients will be listed below in the description, but it's got something in it that really adds a nice sheen to your skin and it re really hydrates. And even though it does have alcohol in it, it doesn't dry out the skin like most splashes do. Normally I use a bomb and then a splash, a bomb to hydrate and soothe the skin and then a splash to dry out the skin because when I use a balm or a moisturizer, it really makes my face kind of greasy. So the splash helps to remove a lot of that excess grease. Let the alcohol kind of evaporate a little bit. Mmm. Really does smell beautiful. And the burn, the burn isn't too bad either. Very, very soothing and refreshing. Hydrating, I can feel it like hydrating the entire face. And like I said, with all bombs and splashes, I usually rub it in until it's completely evaporated. All right, final thoughts on Luthor Lani. Looney, Looney, Looney. I got to pronounce it right. I keep forgetting. What do I think, final thoughts, about Lothor, Luthor, Lani? I love it. I love everything about it. I love the, I love the, uh, the base. I love how it lathers. I love the feeling of the lather. I love the splash, how it doesn't seriously burn. I love how it leaves a nice sheen against the skin after you apply it to help rehydrate and soothe. And I definitely think the, the scent on this one is fantastic. One of the most exotic sandalwoods that you're ever going to smell. I think this should be in everybody's shave den, 100%. So we used Luthor Lani, Looney. We used the Rockwell 6C with a Permasharp blade on its first use. I really like this Permasharp blade. Actually, very, very nice. Really, really nice close shave without any, any nicks. The nick that I got down here is gone. It's, it's all sealed up. Really, really nice. And um, here, let me just rinse it up. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll keep it the same. We use the finest grooming gents and barbershop, sorry, gents barbershop and spa. That's the GB, what the GBS stands for. And we used the first line shave slash turnings with tansy brush, which again, like I said, I'll be coming out with a review on this set, the life or death set from first line shave really is amazing. And look, I didn't even add any more water. Let's see how much, uh, let's see how much is still left in this knot. Look at this.
beautiful consistency, beautiful lather. I'm really, really, really digging Luthor. Like that they donate to noble causes and try to help out as much as they can. And, and Johnny even said that if they don't have enough profit to, uh, you know, if they don't, if their profit margins aren't really high uh, for those particular three soaps that they sell, uh, that do donate the 5% charity, that he will go out and personally do charities like walks or runs to generate more profit to give them, to, to donate to charity. And that's, that's awesome. One of the things about the wet shaving community is that everybody, again, like I said, is so generous, so giving, and uh, you really can't ask for, for better people doing better things. So thank you again so much for stopping by my channel. That's the shave. Luthor, Luthor, Looney, Looney, Lou, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm American, sorry. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, shave away. Luthor, Lonnie, Looney, 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 Lonnie.